remote let's play edition of midlife crisis um yeah, i am here awesome. in studio and of course uh my partner robbie Very is uh, all the way somewhere over there due to uh weather um but we try this out uh i wanted to show uncle bob something very special something that's very near and dear to my heart that i think will be near and dear to his so why don't we go ahead and uh, just turn it over to uh, Uncle Bob right now and get some initial thoughts right away. Uh, hey, Bob, uh, I just want to let you know we're going to be playing some Atari Jaguar today, buddy. What do you think of that? Atari Jaguar. Very cool. Totally agree. Awesome. Um, okay, so what we're going to do, what we're playing here on uh, my my beloved, beloved 64-bit jungle cat, the Atari Jaguar here, uh, I got right over here. This is a brand new, brand stinking new. Very fun. Atari Jaguar game. Awesome. Let me get this without the reflection there. Well, as good as we're going to get it. This is Towers 2 Enhanced Stargazer Edition. So I was not, not, not sent this copy uh, for purposes of review here. I purchased it with my own money, my own hard-earned cash. Uncle Bob, what do we think about that? It is fantastic once again we are in full lockstep here friend um i heard about this um from uh a we'll call it an atari jaguar support group um so the original towers 2 came out like 26 years ago something crazy like that uh and what's so cool about this is the original team that made it uh got back together 26 years later and decided to uh make it a better game uh and not just like uh you know fi little fixes here and there like they redid the entire game pretty much there's new textures there's new lighting stuff um to me it's like really epitomizes a labor of love uh and it's really really cool um uncle bob what do you think about that this is awesome wow absolutely um so what we're gonna do without any uh further delay whoops a poopsie is uh turn this bad boy on so what i'm gonna do here uh, and we're going to play a little bit. So let's just start doing that. Robbie, do we have do we have your permission? What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah. Love it. Okay, so I am going to do this. And then I'm going to do this. And then you're going to see me right here in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. <clears throat> so it is not every day that a... Uh, enhanced jaguar game gets uh, released uh <laughs> but let me tell you if something like that happens i'm gonna be uh, a part of it uh songbird productions is who put this out they've been making atari jaguar and atari Lynx games for many 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 years jv games is the developer the of the original one and this one so here we go now check this shit out robbie uh coming up here coming up here right after this deal i'm not gonna skip anything because i don't want to miss it what do you think of that, Robbie? This is mind blowing. Exactly. That's a little CG cutscene on an Atari Jaguar cartridge. Uh, not even the Jaguar CD. Uh, really, really, really cool. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue. Um, so right here you see cartridge load. This is one of the first of many enhancements in the Enhanced Stargazer edition. These uh, saves in the original Towers 2 for Atari Jaguar didn't save shit. Um, but these ones, since they doubled the... Uh, the EEPROM size to four megabytes uh, up from two, it saves a whole lot more. So anyway, let's talk about this screen first and foremost. Um, Robbie, what do you think of this screen, this, uh, this screen, this HUD? This is very cool. Yes, totally. Um, that's probably the ugliest dude I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and that rules uh, a lot. I think it's super funny. <laughs> so there's just, there's that, but let's describe this game a little bit before I start moving around. Um, so over here, you see my little hand here. Uh, that's my inventory. I have a backpack, some extra inventory slots. That's my super ugly face. If I click the action button on it, you can see my inventory. So I've got a sword, a cloak, uh, some sort of magic ring, some boots. Um, if I push the option button, it's going to remove this HUD and then we can be in the mix. So I've got some, f some fell enemies. Um, yep. Here we go. So this game is like one of those first-person, uh, very D and D inspired uh, hack and slash role-playing games. Oh boy! I'm oh god! I'm being accosted. Robbie, what do you think? Oh my god! Wow! 
thank you for your support as always. Um, so these dudes are going to kill me, and I can get away. Go, 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 go. Yes. Okay. So uh, I got to get out of here. Um, this is a dangerous spot for me to be in. I need to run away and sleep so that I can gain all my health back. Uh, let's see if I can do that here. Yes. Thank God. Okay. So, yeah, that's how you gain your health back. You get away from a dangerous area and then you sleep. But you can't sleep unless you are fed and you find food throughout the game. Uh, Robbie, what do you think about food? Mind-blowing. That's cool. Um Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Knock it off. Stay there. 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 It's your boy, back with another laziness review. So, we still have the hour, things are going bang up, knocking these reviews down, and pretty uh, soon I'm going to be knocking the dirt down, right back there in this facility. I have been for the hour, I've got about uh, 12 minutes left to go. I do very desperately need to clean these self-inflicted wounds. On my nose job to change my identity to keep going and moving forward and never stopping forward and never straight because when you go forward if there's an obstacle in your path you go right around it when you go straight it's a new wall write it down so um back with another laser disc review and we're here with something truly special Something truly outside of what we've been doing here on the channel, okay? So if you just follow my lead a little bit, you'll, I think you'll really get into this and you'll really appreciate what I've been doing this whole fucking time. We're just talking about badass movies. Right? A special one, it is a masterpiece. If you're a horror fan, a horror aficionado like myself, you'll fully understand that this is a treasure that belongs in a museum. Right? And luckily for all of you out there, it does belong in a museum. My museum amongst my collection, as you can see. But what makes this copy of Halloween so special is that it is completely sealed, right? It has never breathed its own breath of oxygen, right? So that's what we're going to do on the channel here. And we're going to let it breathe for the first time. And we can all enjoy that experience together. And then we can probably put together a small review. Not about the picture, because as you well know, and I would never insult your intelligence, this is sealed. So I have not watched this, obviously. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. So this is, I wanna, I wanna share this with you very quickly. This is a super badass dragon knife, right? And I found that in the parking lot right out there at this Flying J somewhere in Kern County, which I'm not gonna disclose exactly where that is. So let's get right to it. Quick little message to my roommate. Try it. Okay, so I don't want to damage anything on the seat here. Um, let's go super slow. My hand-eye coordination is a little tampered with. Here we go. Alright. Oh. 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 Shit. Shit. Oh. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, fuck. Stop. 
If I push the Z button here, uh, oh, I, whoops, wrong button. Sorry. Okay, here's our map. So I've fleshed out a lot of this. This is the first level of many levels, hence towers. Um, but this is a new feature to this version too. Uh, this map is very much improved. The original uh, kind of stinks, um, but that's a big improvement. And I am gonna get out of here. Because I need to start climbing up. Uh, let's check in with Uncle Bob. Um, Uncle Bob, as we know. Ooh, oh, God, combat. Hold on. Stand by, Uncle Bob. Sit yeah. down. Let me get rid of this guy safely and effectively. Okay, he's running away. I'm going to take that. Uh, Uncle Bob, why don't you chime in? Uh, give me some perspective on Towers 2. What are you thinking so far? Awesome. Can't believe what I'm seeing here. Atari Jaguar. Yep. Um, no, I I totally agree with you, and uh, I mean like like me, you're a, you're a just a dyed in the wool Atari Jaguar fan. Yeah. So you get it, you understand. Um, let's see here. So believe it or not, the frame rate has also been improved. Um, I'm not going to sit here and, and and say this is the smoothest thing in town, but you got to understand this is on a 1993 released system. So uh, if given the if you look at the context for it, it's still pretty impressive. If if you do. If I do say so myself. Um, okay, so I believe I've collected everything in this floor, I believe. Let me bring up that map again. Uh, oh, I need to go northwest. Let's go northwest from here. Oops. Okay. Oh, different floor there. So, uh, yeah. I love this kind of stuff, um, and the Jaguar is full of it um homebrew releases uh in addition to songbird productions which uh they have an online store free free plug guys i'm a fan um you can go to places like atari age they have a store as well now atari age has been on the internet for a super long time and was recently acquired by atari so imagine that atari is in the is in the atari business and then buying atari age i think is pretty neat um, let's check in with Uncle Bob. Um, what are you thinking about Towers Two now that we're a little bit in, in into the marsh here, uh, Uncle Bob? Brian, your taste in games is so cool. Right? No, definitely. Um, I would like to get out of this area now. Um, let's go this way. Because I think what I was supposed to get in here, I've gotten everything um, that I needed. So if I pop... Okay, I need to head south. Handy dandy compass right in the top right of the screen. Um, I don't have the music... Oh, I feel hungry here. Uh, what I was going to say is I don't have the music turned up right now, which is fine. Um, you know, it is what it is. I can uh, I can bop it up a little bit, though. We can see, we can see how that goes. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, we got a little bit, got a little bit of music coming through there. All right, let's just consult that map again. So th I believe that's the yes. So let's go out this gold door. Aha! I need to, but first and foremost, I need to eat some floor cheese that I found, and this rules. Uh, you take food from your inventory, you put it on this ugly person's face, <laughs> and, you, and you feed him that way. Uh, what did you think of that, Uncle Bob? Very cool. Exactly. Um, okay, so let's get out of that screen. And now, oops, let me back out of here. What I need to do is select this gold key, and then on the door. 
The door is now unlocked. Tremendous. So here we go. Onwards through the Towers 2 experience. So um, I'll talk a little bit more about Jaguar Homebrew. Um, it's been around a really, really, really long time. Uh, and that's, to me, one of the coolest things about it. I, I We did an episode a long time ago where I played uh, Jaguar with Uncle Bob. It was his first time. Um, and I talked a little bit about it there. But yeah, people have been making Jaguar games for a super long time. Hi there. Oh, that's a feature. That's a new one. The, uh, this game, they added a bunch of voice from the PC version. Let's try this again. Hi there. Hi there. See? What a nice fella. Okay. So let's go ahead and check in with Uncle Bob one more time. Uh, now, really, look. Robbie, I don't want you to hold anything back here. I want your full and honest opinion about Towers 2 for Jaguar. Just go. Unleashed. Oh, my God. This game is very cool. Very fun. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you heard it there. You heard it there, gang. Um, and to be honest with you, I totally agree. So, um, okay. Let's do... I'm just kind of putzing around here. Um, I got to be honest with you. I've never played one of these D&D first-person old ass RPG type games before. I've always wanted to. I find them a little daunting. Um, but because I bought this game and it was a hundred dollars, I'm going to force myself to <laughs> to continue this journey because uh, I am nothing else but a man who respects the dollar. Okay. Um, no, that's where we came from. I need to go west and south. There should be a passage here. We're going to go up into another level, and we're going to check that out, and then we'll go ahead and uh, wrap it up from there, get some closing comments from Uncle Bob, of course. So here we go. That is not where I wanted to go. Consult the map. Ah, it's the other, the opposite end of the hallway here. So, yeah, this, um, I don't know. I'm just really, like, enamored with the fact that people who made this game 26 years ago got back together and decided to, f to finish the job. Um, it's an extremely limited game. I believe there's only 250 of what they call the first run. Um, and I'm very happy and fortunate to have gotten in on that. Okay, so there we go. There's stairs up. Let's go up a level. Yeah, the save system in this is really, really forgiving. So, like, you can... Uh, and the original Towers 2 wasn't so uh, the, wasn't so easy like this. But you basically can stick and poke, run away, go hide, heal, and then keep going. And like take your time and climb up the tower. I think I need to go this way. So yeah, the character I'm playing with right now is like a like a melee guy. You know, no spells or anything like that. Um, so, okay, let's go in here and look around a little bit. And we'll check check the map one more time. And I think we'll close this out by me me eating a piece of bread. Oh, after I stab it, obviously. All right, so let's put the key away. Don't need that. I, I would love to play this with a mouse. I'll just say that. And, but no, I'm not. I'm not going to say that. I love playing with the Atari Jaguar controller because I'm a creep. And for whatever reason, I, my brain is broken and I love the Jaguar. Um, okay. Anyway, this is Towers 2. It's a brand new release from Songbird Productions. Uh, it's, it's as cool as sliced bread to me. Um, but what really matters is getting that final take, that final word from our very own Uncle Bob Bear. Uncle Bob, jump in here. I want to hear your your final and full analysis of Towers 2 for the Atari Jaguar, released in 2023. Brian, your taste in games is so cool. Yes. This is mind-blowing. Oh, totally, yes. Very fun. It is fantastic. Well, you heard it here, folks. This is uh, going to be uh, the wrap-up here. Um, Towers 2, available now uh, in limited quantity. If you are a Jaguar person, um, just do the right thing. Just do the right thing and go for it. And we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.